Hey, what's going on everybody? This is part two of how to make a welcome sign. In the first video, we showed you how to design it in Silhouette Studio. And now in the second one, we're gonna cut it out in Silhouette Cameo, in the Silhouette Cameo, and we're going to show you how I uh, place it on the board and how we finish it up. So let's go ahead and jump into the video. All right guys, so I just finished cutting. Thankfully, it, it's just a large sign or a large vinyl cut and it's not too detailed. So it actually only took less than five minutes. And so that's the good thing about that. So let's go ahead and unload it. What you want to do is you want to start weeding and leaving behind the letters and the florals. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so after weeding the text, this is what you're left with. You're left with the just the letters on the, on the vinyl paper. And let's go ahead and now do the transfer paper portion of it. So we're going to basically cover this whole area with the vinyl transfer paper. And let me show you how I do that. I, what I ended up doing is it's, it's such a long sign, I ended up taping the top to the table and as well as the bottom. That way it's just held in place. I'm not having to struggle with it. And then what you're going to want to do is take your vinyl paper, or I'm sorry, your transfer paper. You want to kind of peel it back and we're going to cut this area here. Just cut a little bit off because what we're going to do is we're going to lay it and then we'll start slowly peeling backwards and removing this uh, bottom piece. Let me just show you what I'm talking about. So I peeled back my transfer tape. We're going to cut this back paper. It doesn't have to be perfect. All right, and what we're gonna do is we wanna get this straight. That way it peels back straight. Just get started, just like that. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come from the underside here and start peeling backwards. What I'm also gonna do is I'm going to cut on the grid this particular transfer paper has um, a grid so i'm going to use that to cut some of this extra extra uh, vinyl paper back here uh, that way it's a little bit again more easy to manipulate rather than trying to work with this giant thing so let's go ahead and do that real quick all right guys so i got to cut down the size a little bit more manageable to fit within the the board itself what i want to do now is go over the vinyl make sure that it's Firmly press down on this vinyl or this transfer tape. It'll just make it easier to peel when we get to that, when we start doing that. So let's go ahead and do it. Moment of truth. Now we're just gonna go onto the, the board and don't press down on it, just let it lay lay down because if you press down, it's gonna be hard to take it back up. But if you just let it rest on there, you're able to still move it, manipulate it. You still lift it up as you need to. See, just like that. I'm able to still lift it up. I didn't press on it. I'm able to still manipulate it. So after playing with it for a little bit, I got it how I want it. Let's go ahead and press down on the transfer tape and we'll get those vinyl letters to the board. Now let's peel this back. All right, and there we go. We got it. Put it on the board. Now with the letters on there, we can take it to the garage and put some polyurethane on it. I ended up going with two coats of water-based polyurethane. It is an outdoor sign, but it's not going to be in direct sunlight or anything like that. So this should be enough.
All right, guys, so that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys liked it, and as always, I hope you guys were able to take something away from it. We'll see you on the next video.